The new abbot of the Benedictines in Jerusalem is from Ireland. Gregory Collins, born in Belfast 51 years ago, received the abbot's blessing on Sunday, October 2nd, from Bishop William Shomali, Auxiliary Bishop of Jerusalem, during a celebration that brought together the community of the Dormition of the Virgin Mary. The Dormition Abbey, rising on Mount Zion near the Upper Room, is more than a hundred years old. The laying of its foundation stone dates back to 1900, and the arrival of its first three monks to 1906. By tradition, the chapter of the monastic community elects its own abbot, calling him from other monasteries. So it was with Colin's predecessor, Benedict Lindemann, and so it was on July 26, when the choice fell on this monk from the Abbey of Glenstall, Ireland, priest since 1995 and doctor in Byzantine studies. Well, for me, it's another stage in my relationship with God, I suppose, because I first entered the monastery in Ireland because I believed God was calling me there. And I believe that through the election here, he has called me to come here. And for a Benedictine, that's a big journey because we change our stability of place. So it's a new stage of the adventure of relationship with God. And it's a challenge to come here into this vibrant, growing, young, lively community. Following the blessing, the new abbot received the mitre, crozier and ring from the bishop, signs of faith and of the commitment to shepherd the community that he will lead for eight years, united in the bond of fraternal love. In Jerusalem, recalled Monsignor Shomali in his homily, where the differences based on nationality, language, rights and culture divide people and raise real or psychological walls between them. We need the example of a vibrant monastic community, reminding us that communion, sharing and love are possible if they are grounded in Christ. This reminder was also underlined by Father Gregory Collins. The most important gift and witness that we can bring to the church in Jerusalem is the presence of a praying community, singing the divine office daily, celebrating the Eucharist and providing a place of hospitality and welcome for other people. Father Gregory Collins, the sixth abbot of this community, but the first native English speaker, brings to the holy city and to his community a wealth of knowledge and the experience of the complex reality of Northern Ireland. And I hope that I have had some preparation, my interest in the Orthodox churches, for example, my experience of ecumenism and reconciliation in Northern Ireland. And I hope that those are qualities that may be useful for the service of the church and the community here. What I learned in Ireland, that the only way to reconciliation is through forgiveness, through mutual acceptance, through toleration of otherness, and through real dialogue, where we don't just tell other people what we think, but we really listen to them and try to hear what they're saying.